Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony for Anthony's Customs and for this review, we are looking at the McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse, the Riddler from Arkham City. And it's actually pretty good in a lot of ways, or at least in a few ways, it's, it's a really solid release. And then in other ways, it's leaving a little bit to be desired, but I think you might be pleasantly surprised with this one. So we're gonna go ahead and talk about it. Let's go ahead and get him off the stand and take a closer look. This guy stands just about 18 centimeters. That's gonna make him pretty close to, let's call it seven and an eighth inches. Uh, do I have a Batman handy? Well, I don't have the right Batman, so it wouldn't make any difference. Here he is up against Darwin, who just got finished with his Spider-Man three-pack review cameo appearance. And it's not gonna be helpful at all, but people like comparison. So here he is up against a Marvel Legends Darwin. All right, lovely. Let's go ahead and do a question of the day. Who's your favorite villain in the Arkham City game? You have to pick from that game. If you haven't played that game, you can pick and tell me from a different game, but the question is specifically for Arkham City. I'm gonna have to go with Freeze, Mr. Freeze for Arkham City. Liked that one a whole bunch. All right, let's talk about the aesthetics on this guy. I think they nailed the sculpt almost all the way. I say almost because the diaper is so pronounced on this figure, it's a little bit weird. And he is supposed to have buttons there, but they seem a little bit big and it's just kind of strange. I think a little bit of finesse would have gone a long way right there, but otherwise, I like it. His hands are a little bit big, okay, but otherwise, they kind of nailed what he looked like in the game and the proportions are perfectly fine, other than the hands being a little bit big, but that's not a huge deal. It is a video game character, they can exaggerate a little bit. Um, like, they are really big, <laughs> definitely too big, but it's not awful. Uh, the jacket is sculpted really well. All the question mark logos are sculpted. All the details are sculpted. I think the head is a nice, accurate sculpt. It's it's one of their better sculpt jobs, for sure. Now, as far as the paints go, it's not the best. Obviously, you can see some of the paint stuff. Painted stuff here is fine. This is nice, the little tie clip. This is painted well. But in the game, all of his little question marks are darker green, and his main suit is not such a bright green. Uh, they did do kind of like a wash, it looks like, on this guy, and it didn't really solve the problem at all, so it's not perfectly accurate, and they're definitely missing paint as a result. But it's not bad. I would say this is gonna be good enough to stick on your shelf, and to, it's gonna look fine. You could make it look better if you wanted to just go in and paint all those question marks, but that would suck to do, and that's probably why they didn't do it. Uh, the pants... I don't know that they would have the same wash on them. They don't really look like it, but it's so subtle, it's kind of hard to say. The boots do though. Actually, they look like they have a dry brushing and they have a good sculpt to go with it. So like, that's fine. I think it looks pretty good. Let's look at the face real quick. Glasses aren't supposed to be sunglasses. That's definitely off, but they do go down low so you can see his eyes over the top of them, even though he's looking off to the side. I still think that looks pretty good. Uh, they definitely could have done better with the glasses not being trans or not being sunglasses but still looks looks pretty good overall i'm I just finished filming this review and i forgot to mention i think i forgot to mention anyway that his face is painted really well there's a little bit of shading throughout the the detailed paints for the mouth and the teeth that's nice even the eyes behind the sunglasses they're very clean the eyebrows are very clean this is definitely one of the better head sculpts that they have done Overall, the glasses should be transparent for sure, but otherwise, and aside from the side eye, this is one of McFarlane's better head sculpts out of everything that they've released lately. So that's a very good thing. I'm pretty pleased with the aesthetic. So I'm gonna give this guy an aesthetic rating of eight and a half out of 10. It's, it's pretty darn good despite its flaws. Now, as far as accessories go, well, uh, we have his question mark cane, which seems to be a little bit oversized and probably not the right color but it's okay it's gonna look decent enough in his hands he only does have the two gripping hands which is kind of unfortunate and then we get the dc display stand and the trading card which shows what would have been a really cool accessory why didn't they give him one of his question mark trophies as an accessory because it would have been difficult for them to do i guess it didn't have to actually light up but they cheaped out for sure uh, two out of 10 for accessories, not good enough. Now, as far as articulation goes, the head is on, it's probably a double. Yeah, it's a double ball peg. It looks down, it looks up, leans side to side, rotates. It's good, definitely good enough for a double ball peg. It's not as good as it could be, but it will do. Uh, the side eye is a problem for sure, so you're gonna wanna have him like 
always in a pose, which is unfortunate. Side eye is not a good thing, but that's the way it goes. Shoulder on this guy gets up to horizontal, no real problem there. You're gonna get your full rotation. Bicep swivel is fine, though not the best looking thing once it's employed. Double jointed elbow will work, no problem at all. Though they do have problems still with their cavities in their elbows. That's a really weird way to design that joint. Strange but functional and not hideous. Ball hinge wrists will be nice for helping him to hold his cane in two hands, and that'll probably make for a decent enough static pose for this guy. For the torso, it is split underneath in here, but the jacket is still not going to allow it to do a whole lot. So we'll just, let's, let's just see how it functions. It's a ball peg down here, double ball peg in there. It's mostly just gonna be that bottom ball peg, but you get decent enough range out of it that you should be able to pose him in a, in a pose that's suitable for Riddler. Nothing crazy, but it'll be okay. For the hips, we can get almost full on splits. I think that's gonna be just fine for him. Bring the leg forward, it'll work. They really need to cut out their diapers to actually look like a Speedo, unfortunately. That's better than having the diaper that flexes with the leg, if you ask me. But you're gonna get decent enough range on this guy going forward, going back, it's not the best. Is there a thigh swivel? Eh, not, not really. Double knee joint does work nicely. Lower leg is definitely too long. It's about an inch too long. Uh, so proportioning is weird for sure on this guy. Ankle goes back one notch there and then one, two, two and a half. So three total positions, uh, well, three and a half total positions on the ankle. Not great though it is sculpted and painted. That looks good and you get a decent ankle rocker. The hinge itself is still a hindrance for posing. Toe hinge on this guy, it's far enough forward and it's sculpted well enough, it's actually a pretty decent toe hinge. So for the articulation, I'm gonna go seven. It's fine, it's passable, there's nothing special about it, nothing particularly bad, and since it's only the Riddler, it's not a big deal. All right, so before we get into the final rating, we have to do one last rating, which is the cake rating. This guy is really not too bad. Uh, considering he's just the Riddler, I think he's pretty well caked. It's not like there's a ton of overall volume there, but you do see a pretty well-defined set of glutes. So I'm gonna give him an overall rating of six out of 10. It's not bad for a guy who is not in any way a physical threat to Batman. His cakes do pose some challenge, uh, or at least potentially, depending on what Batman is aiming for, you know, with Rob, well, we won't get into that. Okay, so let's give this guy a final rating. It's not bad. It's, it's about what I thought it was going to be. I thought it was a pretty solid sculpt, lacking some paint, and probably going to be average for articulation, and that seems to be what it is. I think that's all it needs to be since it's the Riddler. So I'm going to give this guy an overall rating of... Uh, I'm going to go 8 out of 10 for McFarlane Toys. It's definitely better than a lot of the other figures. The proportioning is much better. There's enough paint on it, enough good sculpt work, enough posability. It's nothing really impressive, but it's definitely going to be good enough. <laughs> so there it is, guys. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please do give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, a thumbs down will do. And if you haven't subscribed, you probably should. I have new videos almost every single day and thousands already on the channel. So make sure you come back for all of that. In the meantime, keep collecting.